Can you tell me more about this little stuff? Okay, well, like, this is just an external um, uh, box containing our blue pill uh, server. Okay. But a lot of these controllers contain it internally. Oh, okay. So this would be for things like load balancing. So you have a network far away. Mm -hmm. You might want to add one on the other end too to maintain connection to those devices. So your stuff in your your actual studio, you only have to communicate with one thing, not five. Oh, just use like, that load okay, a little okay. bit. Um, or if you have some of our older panels like this, which don't have blue pill inside, you can add this and you can bring them into the blue pill world and get all of our new stuff. So what are those new stuff? So the new stuff is we have this new um, interface. You're just having to go to the IP address to access you know, the control of your device mm -hmm. to change how, like, what you're connected to, maybe change camera order, rename things. So I mean like the older version, I mean like it cannot use this kind of stuff? It can if you, if you have a blue pill on your network, Okay. Then that blue pill can take over the old one. Okay. And then you can get this, like this one here. Yep. Is on the Unisketch platform, but it's being controlled by that one there. Yep. So it's being brought into blue pill. Same with this. This one doesn't have a blue pill inside version, mm -hmm. but it's on blue pill because the one over there has taken over. Okay, got it. So people haven't lost their investment. Mm -hmm. Um. You add that and just add they, one blue pill. Yeah. And on occasion, if they want to go back and use your old Unisketch sketch uh, project, they can just do that. So you need to link this to the switcher and go over there, or like yeah, all of our stuff would be connected into a network Ethernet switch. Yep. Um, because we're all IP based. Yep. Uh, it has to be you know set into raw panel mode. There's a couple ways to do that, mm -hmm. uh, and then if you just add it as another panel on here. Oh, okay. So you just go down and you add panel. All of these ones are discovered on our network, which it should be if you've done it correctly, mm -hmm. then you can just add it. Or if you just don't have it right now, but you know you'll have it tomorrow, mm -hmm. you can add it manually, put in the information, and then it should just link up when you have it right. Okay. The same goes for devices. Anything that will support, this would be a very long list, hold on. So okay. You can add device, you can add it manually if mm -hmm. you don't have the information or it's not a device that is discoverable on the network. Some things just can't be. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not discovering your RE camera on the network. Mm -hmm. But all the devices that can be discovered on the network, you just have to simply select an app and, you know, then all the information is there. And unless it needs a username and password, which some devices do, mm -hmm. then it'll just connect right up. Okay. What about those little boxes on the Those button? are tally boxes. You oh, can, just tally. So we have a tally box there and I've, it's a Unisketch device. I've added it onto this panel. So then I've said, I want you to listen to an ADEM switcher, mm -hmm. which is just under this table. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to send the tally based on the inputs that we've assigned to that tally output. Mm -hmm. And the output is just simple for signal and power to the light. Um, and then it'll just light up based on where you told it to light up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's for devices that don't have tally by itself. This little can in here can tally, so... No, that's the wrong one. This one. So the tally can be, just send the tally to the camera itself. Oh, okay. So then you wouldn't need a tally box. <laughs> unless you want something bigger and greater. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Uh, oh, okay, so how to read your... Scarhoy. Scarhoy. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, thanks. You're very welcome.